break free. Break free. Wake up. Wake up. Great Rocks coming at you live. Don't forget to subscribe. So today, a couple topics. We'll go with distraction first. So give yourself a fighting chance in this life by limiting your unnecessarily destructive distractions. UDD. Like the IED, but nothing like the IED actually. So unnecessary destructive distraction. Let's say you're going through life and living paycheck to paycheck or just right above that. A couple kids, maybe no kids. And you're thinking to yourself, well, this world is pretty messed up. How do they expect someone to keep their sanity in such a, such a world where everything costs so much and they pay so little and let alone no family structure? because everything is, the internet and schools are raising the kids now. So you lose your family, you lose your mind, you lose your house, you lose everything. And people blame the world. They, they truly do, it's kind of interesting. I used to, I used to blame the world for a lot of things. Is it taking some goddamn personal self-responsibility, some accountability for your own life? You have hands, okay? You control these bad boys. You control these bad boys. You don't control the time and place you were born. That's the only thing I give you. You don't control your parents. You don't control those two things for sure. Everything else, it's in the air, okay? And what I mean by distractions is, let's say with all that I just said, set up, you want better. You want to be different. You don't want to just be your, the more like your family or what they expect from you or you just you just get inspired somehow. So you cut out one bad thing or you start a new good habit or you have a good intention. But then distraction, folks. Oh my gosh. And I think this goes without being said how extreme it is in today's day and age with Facebook, Snapchat, hundreds of apps that are actually good. So much out there right now, entertainment wise, so much distraction. And you will, I see it constantly, people griping and complaining about their life and they're, they're making, they're, they're just distracting themselves with drama. And let me just say, I'm not gonna go too deep in this right now on what to do there. Hit me up if you need some more info there on how to do less distraction. But I'll tell you this much. If you're living like that and you are claiming you're this smart and you're special, but yet you're just mindlessly distracting yourself, any chance you get, just know you lose a lot of respect intellectually, okay? And clutter. Clutter is next. The next topic is, is a little clutter topic. And I'm talking about physical, mental, spiritual, and social media clutter. I feel like if you're getting, if you really want to get rid of most of your distractions or some of them, and you have a new new outlook on life, and you want to aim it all in a positive way, I think the old remaining clutter needs to go out the door with it, like spring cleaning. You get rid of the old, you get rid of all these loose hanging up in the air kind of things that later on you're gonna use as a reason for a distraction so we we make a day out of it a week out of it a year out of it however long you need to make clutter gone what i mean by that is any projects that you have in your junk drawers and in your garage finish them before you touch anything else any old facebook messages like the archives you want to scroll back and scroll through pictures and get your pictures and all that Go back, get whatever pictures through every message, delete every message after that. Get it all out of there. Get all this stuff out of the way. Anything that is started and not finished, get it done. 
clean up at your closets, down anything you can think of like that. And completely start and don't start your new thing until all the clutter is gone. So that way, when you reach that new point, you come at it with no, with a lot less distraction, possibility, a lot less excuses, and you truly can just categorize where you're at in life. Once you get all that out of the way, you can actually take inventory of what you truly have, like everything to your name. And if it's too much to bear, well then maybe you need to start looking into having less stuff. Who knows? Maybe. I'm just a guy. But I want everyone to stay positive, stay whatever you need to stay, to stay motivated, to stay fired, wired, never tired, okay? It's Rico Rocks coming at you live. Don't forget to subscribe.